Hello friends, today I am going to explain how quick sorting works. First, let me tell you something about quick sort. It is two or three times faster than the merge or heap sort. Secondly, it is a divide and conquer approach. It means in this we are dividing a problem to subproblems recursively till it becomes so small that it can be solved directly. Third, we choose an element from the list called it as pivot and the partitioning is based on that pivot. Right. One more thing, we have several ways for pivot selection and partitioning steps which greatly affect the algorithm performance. Like someone can choose pivot as the first element of the list or it can be the last element of the list or it is also possible that some can opt for random pivot in that case we should call the or we would call the quick sort as a randomized quick sort so if we talk about its performance then its average performance or the best case performance is same that is big o and log n and its worst case performance is big O n square and when this worst case happen so two cases are there when the list is already sorted or when all the elements of the list are equal so guys let us take a simple array and uh, let's try to sort the array using the quick sort so here you can see we have taken I have taken a simple array with seven elements right so now first of all try to understand understand the basic concept of quick sorting in this sorting first step is to choose a pivot element suppose we are taking the last element of the array as pivot so four is our pivot now the basic idea behind this uh, procedure is to bring all the elements which are smaller than the pivot to its left and all the elements which are greater than the pivot towards its right okay uh, like this in our array we have 7 9 um, 5 and 8 these are the greater elements than the pivot so they should be placed towards its right and um, 3 and 1 are the small elements than the pivot so they are placed in the left side here ordering does not matter so i'm just telling you how it works so now the list can be divided into two sub lists okay so here you go now some steps are followed to each sub list until the list becomes so small that it contains exactly one element so this is how partitioning happens but now the question is how we place all the smallest elements to the left of the pivot and all the greater elements to the right of it what is the procedure or what are the steps to be followed so now let us go in deep a little here is our array and the pivot you can see here we have chosen the last element pivot right now take two variables one is to iterate through the list let's say it is i and one is to point to the index from where we are going to divide the list let us say it is p okay so i will iterate through the list from the element 1 to the element before pivot or you can say n minus 1 okay so in the starting both i and p are pointing to the first element that is 7 now we have to compare the value of the index of position i with the pivot like um, and if the value right if the value at i is smaller than the pivot like in this case 7 is not smaller than the pivot then we don't have to swap it but if the value at index i is smaller than the pivot then we have to swap it with the p understand we have to if the value 
at the index i is smaller than the pivot the, then we have to swap the value of i and p okay let's see how it works so in starting we have 7 at the index position i and our pivot value is 4 so it is checked is 7 is less than 4 no it is not then simply i is moved to the next location and uh, again 9 is not smaller than 4, 4 so sorry it is moved to the next location then it is 3 so here 3 is smaller than our pivot value okay so 3 and 7 which is at uh, which is pointed by the p variable so 7 and 3 they both are swapped right 3 will come in at the first position and 7 will go at the third position at index 2. Then increment the value of p by 1 and again let's iterate through the list. i is incremented and is uh, go one step ahead and it will now pointing to the fourth element. So now fifth, fifth five, 5 is not less than 4 so no swapping will take place i is simply move to the next location one is yes one is less than four so i and the element at i and the element at the uh, position p both will swap with each other one will come in the second position and nine will go to the uh, third last position right then increment the value of p by one and i will increment it to the next location again it is not less than 4 right so no swapping will take place here uh, at the end of this now iteration will end at that at this point right so in the end of this iteration what we have to do we have to simply swap the value at position uh, p the element at position p and the pivot okay so 4 will come to the position where uh, p is pointing to and 7 will go at the last right now 4 is placed in its correct position you can see here uh, 4 is our pivot and 3 and 1 both elements are less than 4 they are placed on the left hand side and all the elements which are greater than 4 are placed towards it right so successfully we have placed this thing then we have two sublist we can divide the list this whole array into sublist uh, one thing is to note that we are not dividing the list physically right only logically we are dividing the list so two sublists are there <coughs> one is 3 1 and the other is containing 5 9 8 7 at this point 4 is placed in its correct position okay then like we have done here uh, the whole partitioning process it is also now uh, repeatedly this process will continue towards both of the list like uh, right let's take a look first um, starting from the lower list we are uh, taking pivot the last element we are taking it pivot then our p and i is placing to the first element like we have done before then 3 is compared with the pivot is 3 is less than 1 no it is not so this is the end of the iteration right i will end or i will iterate from the first this is a sublist from the first position to the n minus 1 means our list containing two elements only so it will iterate only one one comparison would be there okay so now at the end of the iteration what we are doing we are simply swapping the pivot element with the element at position p so simply swap the two elements right one will go to the first position and three will go after that so guys now we have obtained our p index means partition index so divide the list from index position p 
now one is placed in its correct position right and um, the we don't have any left sublist but we have right sublist which is containing only one element so no further partition will take place here now let's move to the our uh, right side sublist which are greater than the our first pivot containing four elements 5 9 8 and 7 let's apply quick sort here so pivot is our last element now our two variables p and i are pointing to the first element of the list right so now again comparison would be there and i will iterate through the first element to n minus 1 means 5 9 and 8 now 5 is checked is 5 is less than 7 yes it is less than now i is swapped with the element at uh, at element uh, which is at position p right so 5 is swapped with itself okay now i and p both are incremented by 1 now uh, what is the element at the index position i it is 9 so 9 is checked with 7 the so 9 is not less than 7 so no swapping will take place here simply i will move to the next location and now it is 8 8 is not less than 7 again so no swapping will take place here and it is the end of the iteration now at this end what we have to do we simply swap the pivot with the element at position index p right so 9 and 7 will swap with each other right now we have obtained our partition index and uh, hence we can divide the list into two sublists so after this 7 is placed in its correct position and we have obtained two sublists the left sublist is containing only one element so no further partition will be take place here so let's move to the sublist 2 so again our pivot is our last element of the list and p and i both variables are pointing to the element 1 so comparison would be take place is 8 is less than 9 yes 8 is less than 9 so i uh, element at position i is swapped with the element at the index position p so 8 is swapped with itself right so now p is incremented by 1 and now p is incremented by 1 so we have obtained our partition index so now the list is divided in 8 and 9 8 and the right side sublist we don't have because we don't have any element which is greater than the 9 right so now 9 is placed in its correct position and uh, the left sublist is containing only one element so no further partition will take place here so guys you can see that we have obtained our sorted list 1 3 4 5 7 8 and 9 right this is a sorted list so we have obtained the sorted list using the quick sort we have seen how quick sort follow divide and conquer approach i will explain its algorithm in my next video you can find its link in the description box below and if you have any query please comment thank you friends for watching this video if you really like it please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you